How's it going guys? It's Don from Pranatech here. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you a new welder that Yes Welder has come out with. It's a 250 amp uh, ACDC aluminum capable TIG welder. The model is uh, TIG 250P and it's brand new on the market and they sent it to me for a review. So today I'm going to go through a lot of the features and show you what this thing is capable of and give you my opinion about what I think about it. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I have a 200 amp TIG welder already that I've been playing with for a couple of years and having another 50 amps so that I can weld a little bit thicker aluminum is really uh, something that I'm excited about because um, TIG welders in this price range are uh, are usually the beginning level, entry level uh, aluminum welders, and so at that level of amperage, you usually get, you know, just enough to be able to do three sixteenths or quarter inch, and having an extra 50 amps is something that'll let me go up to like five sixteenths. Um, at the very least, I'll be able to weld quarter with no problem. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's get into it, and I'll show you uh, a bunch of the features of this welder and show you uh, how well it welds. Okay. One of the things I'd like to say about this welder is that um, the other reviews I've done on the, uh, I have a uh, 205 uh, MIG welder from Yes Welder, and the manual that came with that was, um, there was obviously a language barrier and it was hard to uh, grasp some of the uh, explanations in there. This manual that came with uh, this new TIG um, is light years ahead of anything I've read um, on the Yes Welder. Um, I have their plasma cutter and I have their MIG welder and this TIG welder as soon as I got the manual out I was like wow this one there wasn't one thing in here that I couldn't understand everything that they explained um, everything I had a question about for settings and and to go through this welder so I could get it set up was explained in this manual. So I'm pretty happy about that. That's that's a, a quantum leap forward for Yes Welder as far as um, their manuals and and making it easier for the average Joe to set up their new welder. So I have to give them kudos for that. This is a this is a great manual. All right, let me uh, grab the camera and I'll show you a quick little walk around so you can see what it looks like. And All right, let's take a look at this thing. It's uh pretty small package for a TIG welder with 250 amps. Uh, this is probably the smallest 250 amp welder I've seen uh, out there on the market. It only weighs about 35 pounds and it's easy, you know, if you need to put it in your truck and go somewhere and you do some uh, mobile welding. But uh, it, uh, it's got a nice case, uh, metal case, and the front control panel is, is quite simple. Uh, of all the uh, of all the TIGs that I've used, this one's probably the easiest that has advanced features uh, to set up. You can see that it has a uh, turn dial. Uh, basically, you press the dial and you select what feature you want to adjust, and then you turn the dial up and down, and that selects your uh, amperage and frequency, your upslope, downslope, pulse, whatever you whatever you want to do. Um, you do it with the dial and you just basically select each feature uh, what you want to select uh, but the manual is very very good on this thing so uh, but if you have any questions uh, I'm doing another video that is a complete setup and settings for getting you started uh, with this welder so uh, look for that uh, very soon and I'll put a link to it in the uh, description as soon as I get uh, it finished and uploaded. All right, let's uh, weld some aluminum. I've got some eighth inch that I want to weld together and show you how nice this welds. So uh, let's go. All right, this is eighth inch aluminum, and I have it set on 140 amps.
Okay, so I'm not a professional welder, never claimed to be, but I have been TIG welding a long time. And one of the things I can tell is when you have a good TIG welder, um, it makes TIG welding aluminum easy. And this welder welds so smooth and um, I, I'm not the greatest aluminum TIG welder. But as soon as I started welding with this welder, um, the welds were beautiful. And so I'll zoom in on this so you can see. I'll turn the welder off so you can hear better. So, as I said, I'm not a professional welder. I've only been welding aluminum for about a year and a half. Uh, but you can see it has good cleaning on either side, probably way more than I needed. Um, but uh, it lays down a nice, shiny, crisp uh, aluminum bead. As you can see, I obviously still need practice, but for you know a welder of my experience only a year and a half on aluminum uh, to be able to just lay down beads like this uh, I'm very happy uh, it's one of the things I really like about this welder it uh, it welds aluminum beautifully um, let's talk about my review of what I think of this uh, yes welder TIG so I honestly unless you spend six or seven thousand dollars I don't think you're ever going to get like the perfect TIG um, when we're talking about the entry level uh, TIG welders out there um, there's always a few little uh, things and everyone I've owned there's a few things that you know I wish I could change um, but with this welder um, there's very little I have to say that uh, it's very easy to use it's easy to set up and uh, for the price point that they're selling this at, it's really the only ACDC 250 amp aluminum capable TIG out there um, under $1,000. And the fact that um, you can get it for 750 is amazing. Um, it's a very powerful welder. Um, I just got in some tungsten, some eighth inch, and uh, I'm gonna do a video basically on just aluminum welding with this welder to get it set up. Um, even showing some thicker aluminum uh, welds and what this thing's really capable of. So that'll be a later video, but for now, uh, this will give you an overview of, of how nice it welds. Um, it's a really high quality welder. If I had to pick some points, you know, if we're going on pros and cons, those are a lot of the cons. It's an easy welder to use, simple, affordable, um, and it, it does some beautiful welds. Um, the cons, I would have to say, I guess my biggest complaint um, is the foot pedal. It's, it's, uh, it's acceptable, it works, um, but it's not as uh, it's not as sensitive as I like. Um, I like a I like a smooth range. Um, the spring on this one's pretty heavy, so I have to lean into it pretty hard. Um, so as far as you know, when you're welding aluminum, everything is very um, sensitive. As far as you have to start off hot, and then you have to start letting up as you get going on aluminum welding. And that's mainly what I use my TIGs for. Um, and when you're coming up to edges and you want to finish a weld without burning off, you know, on a corner or burning through, you have to let up on your pedal. And so it, it, it has to be fairly, you know, easy to use and sensitive. And this one, this one works fine. Um, I, can do, I can do good welding with it. Um, but, and even the one that came with my AHP wasn't that great. It was a mediocre pedal. And I ended up buying a, a Nova pedal for it. So, um, and that made a world of difference. Um, 
So unfortunately I'm spoiled when it comes to foot pedals. So when I go from something as smooth as a Nova pedal, um, I, uh, and I go to this, you know, it, it, it's kind of like going backwards. And so that's really my only complaint. If you've never welded with a TIG before and you buy this welder and you use this, you'd be like, oh, okay, it seems like it works great. You probably wouldn't notice that much. Uh, for me, I'm just used to a high quality TIG pedal. Um, so that's my only real complaint. And the other little thing that just um, made me a little bit annoyed was the fact that every time you turn the welder on, you have to hold the pedal without striking an arc for a few seconds to tell the welder that um, you're using the foot pedal because it defaults to the torch mode. So, but literally once you get used to it, um, you just, you know, turn it on, hit the pedal for a couple seconds till the red light comes on and then you're ready to go. Um, it's really, these are just very minor things. Um, but other than that, uh, for the money, I don't think there's a, uh, a TIG on the market that comes even close to this. The Everlast welders are, you know, fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600 for a comparable TIG for what this will do. And it has some very advanced pulse settings that even my AHP doesn't have, and I think a lot of the other uh, entry-level TIGs uh, don't have. And I'm going to go into that in a later video on, on aluminum welding and pulse welding. Um, because it's for a guy learning to do aluminum welding, pulse is a great feature. It helps you with timing and it helps you with controlling heat uh, running out ahead of you. So it kind of backs off and, and, and helps you pulse. But I'll go into that later in a later video. Um, for now, I just wanted to show you the welder and show you how great it welds and give you my opinion and my review. Um, that's all I really have. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about this welder or anything else as far as setting up you know, the TIG, uh, feel free to leave questions in the comments section. I'll get to them very quickly. I usually can respond within an hour. Um, if you, uh, if you uh, like the video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. I've got a whole bunch more videos coming out. I'm actually... Um, going to, I've been designing actually a new uh, TIG pedal. So I'm actually going to show you how to weld up and build your own uh, TIG welding pedal so that um, you can do it as a project. It'd be a great, you know, first project with a TIG um, as you're learning because it won't be, you know, extremely hard. So uh, stay tuned for that. And, uh, and again, I thank you guys for watching and I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.